Welcome back, everyone. World Combat League inside the Mohegan Sun here in Uncasville, Connecticut. It is time for match number two. For the fire, that's Chris Algieri, super welterweight U.S. title holder, tough guy. Likes the idea of the World Combat League so he can bite down on his mouthpiece, he said. And there, Renat Mirzabekov for the New England Strikers. 29 years old, less than 40 fights in his career, but he's got seven KOs. Tough guy here, too. And from Kazakhstan, dog, and they're tough when they come from that area, let me tell you. Taekwondo silver medalist, so we might see some pretty spectacular ticks uh, from Mizabikov. Well, his reputation is he can cut you in half with a spinning back kick, and we'll see if it's true. Well, there was the first attempt. Mirza Bekov out early with a lot of kicks, and he's down. Mirza Bekov there in the blue pants. Both of these fighters undefeated in their careers. Algeria the Burgundy for the Philadelphia Fire, wrapping up here. Uh, I take that back. Algeria's undefeated, but Mirza Bekov, a lot of fights. 28, oh. seven wins, eight losses. Oh, that is going to be called a slip, no knockdown. <laughs> Algeria is a little more effective with the hand. Some nice hook punches right there against uh, Mirzabikov. This is some of the fierce non-stop action that defines the World Combat League. If you're not throwing punches, if you're not kicking, you'll award a point to your opponent. Some nice kicks there again from Mirzabikov. His taekwondo skills really coming to show, and it's so suited to this style of fighting. Chris Algieri's got to be a little more accurate with his techniques. He's throwing a lot of stuff, but he's getting the worst of the clashes. A lot of blood on Algieri at the moment. Probably coming from the nose, though. I don't think it's anything particularly to worry about. Algieri, only 21 years old. Pre-med student with a 3.5 GPA. I think Mozabikov's got to really worry about Algieri's hand. When Algieri gets in, he seems to do much more damage. I think uh, Mirzabikov does better if he stays away a little bit and tries to score with those kicks. There's that glancing oh, left. To that the will be a knockdown. Good right hand by Algieri. Oh, trying to shake it off. Started off with a left of the temple that dazed Mirzabikov and then he finished off with that right. This is where the fighter starts seeing stars. It's a matter of how quickly he can throw that off and get back into the fight. And that was just a push. Still just one knockdown. Peyton Russell going for the kill now. And, uh, uh, oh, Algeri. Uh, uh, or rather, I'm sorry, Algeri. That will be the second knockdown. Referee Al Wickers. He may not let this fight go. Nope, That's he's going to call the fight. A good call from the referee. It's very important to protect the fighters. They've got a whole future in front of them, and uh, it was a good call. That's what the referee is there for. And, and you take a look at both guys. His coach for the fire there, rooting on Algeri. Algeri certainly looks like he got the worst of everything if, you, if you're going to take blood into account. Yeah, I think a lot of it's from the nose, though. It's a little deceptive. I don't see any sort of cuts around the eyes or anywhere. So, you know, as fighters, that's, that's part and parcel of the whole game. Well, Algeri has certainly now at that score, 15 to 0, he's taken a decided lead for Philadelphia Fire. This is the first knockdown. You see Algeri setting him up for the overhand right, left hook. Beautiful combination, well executed. I don't know that Mirza Bekov could have defended that in any way. Even with his gloves up, it just went right through. Here's the second one you see. He take, took a shot to the midsection. Algeri's got beautiful boxing head. You know, that's where he really lifts that elbow and all the hook punches, rolls the body with it, gets a lot of talk into those punches. Don't see that from many pre-med students, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Mirza Bekov, guys, only one point. That's all he brings to the table. Algeri, huge victory, 16 points for the Philadelphia Fire. And that will set them out to an early big lead with only four bouts left. Now, Manny Reyes, of course, is an alternate for Renat Mirzabikov, who is uh, out of this match, so he's a fresh one. We haven't seen him. We've certainly seen Chris Algeri, and what a fighter this kid is. On the first bout, Algeri took some heavy shots to the nose, and he was questionable to come back for the second half bout, but the doctors are going to let him continue. Manny Reyes Jr., a spectacular point fighter back in the 90s, switched to MMA and kickboxing over the last five years and has made a name for himself in both of those arenas. This will be his first time out as a WCL fighter. I was very impressed with Algeri in that first match, though. I mean, he had some blood from the nose and everything, but boy, can that guy fight. But uh, Manny Reyes is certainly in there. Oh, nice attempt at getting hook kick. 
Manny Reyes, very fast fighter, and he can hit very hard with either hand or either foot. Uh, really the complete package. And he's coming in fresh here in the second half. Algeria and the Burgundy all over Manny Reyes Jr. for New England in the blue. And now Reyes coming back. Reyes coming back very strong. He's using his kicks very effectively. Covering some ground. You notice that was a drill point type of uh, crossing some ground there. It scored well. That bloody nose we saw in the first half for Algeria opened up again now. Get up. Manny Reyes putting a lot of pressure on Algeria. Algeria really needs to get in there and use his hands. He's got very powerful hands. Stop. Time. Doc is going to check here. the nose on Algeria. There's a lot of blood once again coming out of his nose. Real questionable whether his nose is broken. If it is, they're not going to let him keep going. Jerry pleading his case to the doctor. Let me keep going. It's a left hand coming up here by Reyes that did the damage. Straight left. Oh, the blood immediately splattering across the face. Unfortunately, just winged him on the end of the nose to his place for Algeria to get hit. Well, Algeria was hoping, but it's not going to happen. Manny Reyes Jr. gets himself a TKO. So it is 15-0 Reyes Jr. And what a way to start the second half. Exactly what New England needed. Philadelphia needed something in the jaw there, and New England delivered with Manny Reyes.